it's a new game cycle, therefore a new monthly challenge. This time, we're heading to Wrexham. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back. Tony here. Hope you're well. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. If you're brand new, welcome in. If you are brand new, please do us all a favour. Hit the like button on the video. Do subscribe to the channel as well. That'd be much appreciated. This is from our Discord. We have a Discord link. It's in the description below. In that, we have a monthly challenge. This month's challenge is very, very simple. Play one season with Wrexham. However, the stipulation is... You can only buy or sign players who are Welsh, American, or Canadian. Because, of course, Wrexham is in Wales and Rob McElhenney is American and Ryan Reynolds is Canadian. But you worked all that anyway. Um, as I say, challenge is very simple. Uh, it's in the Discord. Whoever finishes the highest or achieves the most will win. It's just for a bit of fun. If you want to get involved, as I say, link is in the description below. Come and join us. Come and hang out. Let us know how you get on. I guess we jump straight into it and see how I got on. All right, let's see where we are. Here we go. This is official then. We are in the race course ground. We've put pen to paper on a contract. We've signed ourselves up for a two-year deal worth £1.1,000 a week. We've replaced Phil Parkinson. Um, now, loyal viewers will know that Phil Parkinson and I have a bit of history. Um, we replaced Phil Parkinson at Sunderland. Remember them? Remember them from last year? Our first ever club we started managing, Sutherland Till I Cry? Yeah, we cried pretty quickly. We got sacked within six months, which meant we ended up at Peterborough. <laughs> there you go, Peterborough. Um, and uh, we did all right there. And then what happened was we left Peterborough after a while. Phil Parkinson took the job. When Phil Parkinson was sacked, we replaced Phil Parkinson again. So here we are coming to wales now to take phil parkinson's job yet again right so hopefully third time lucky um okay no pressure on us right now no pressure media prediction finishing top of the table that's probably because we've got a two hundred fifty thousand pound transfer budget which in this division is huge absolutely huge forty six thousand pounds a week wage budget um we're coming in at the fourth qualifying round of the fa cup uh we last finished eighth in the vanarama national we enter the FA Trophy at the first round. So we've got three competitions we're going to be looking at. This is how we're expected to play, or this is how they think we should play. Uh, a 5 2 2 1. I quite like that system. I quite like that. That looks pretty good to me. Two holding players, two Mazala, maybe double Mazala. <gasps> so, expectations for this season at Wrexham. Play entertaining football. Uh oh, <laughs> it's not quite my style. Um, work within the wage budget. That's fine. Expectations a minimum reach the playoffs. Okay. Reach the second round of the FA Cup as a minimum. They'd like us to reach the semi-finals of the FA Trophy. That's a minimum as well. That's a favoured uh, objective rather than a requirement. They'd love us to gain promotion to League Two next season. Then my contract expires. Um, this, however, this has potential to be a long-term save. Right? I've loaded up. Uh, obviously, all of England, so down to Van Rahm and North and South. We're we're in the the National League, so we've loaded the league below as well. And I've put Wales top division and second division in north and south plus i've loaded players from canada and america into the database right so that's why we've got about twenty five thousand here right so um so we've got some canadian and american players floating around as well um so that's where we are that's how we're going to play it okay right let's go do some transfers actually let's let's see what we've got in terms of uh friendly stratford dundee geisley Wild, Lex and Bath. Then we face Yeovil, Eastleigh, Notts County. That's a big game early doors. South End's a big game early doors. Oof. That's right. We're in a league where we're talking about Grimsby and South End being, and Notts County being big games. Jameson to make his managerial debut. Here we go. What are we thinking then? Have we got a score prediction for the uh, for the match against Yeovil? What have you seen in preseason? Do you like what we've seen? Do you not like what we've seen? Um, are we set for... A decent start or a bad start? All right, let's get some score predictions going on then. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Our first match in the Vanarama National League. Wrexham against Yeovil. What do we think? What do we think? I'm going for a win. 
I'm going for a win, right? I think we've got it all here. 100%, 100% we're going to get a win in our first in our first game. Yeah. And I think we're going to win 2-1. This is our starting lineup for the for the match. So Lainton in goal, Hosanna, Hayden, Toza, Blake, Jones, Christy Davis, Young, Mullen, Hyde, McClendon. That's what I'm going with. That's what I think is the team that's going to win. Check yourself before you wreck some yourself. That's another stream title possibly that we might have. Never get your hopes too high at Wrexham. Anything other than a loss is a bonus. <laughs> but there is that. There is that, yeah. Blake with the ball in. Oh! We're away, Ben Toza. Four minutes in, five minutes in. He's already got one headed in the net. We are staying up, say we are staying up. We are staying up. <laughs> OP front post corners, quite possibly. I think Tours is actually in the middle. Um but yeah, I think he's Yeah, definitely there's 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 a there's a little a little strength there which we absolutely need to exploit. Two in ten minutes. Here we, here we, here we fucking go. This could be a cricket score. They don't even play cricket in Wales, and we're already getting. No, Yeovil are going to declare at some point. I don't want to get too excited, but I reckon we're going to score ten. Yeah. Play good ball, back post header. Oh, it's away somehow. Somehow, it did look like a shin, didn't it? <laughs> it didn't look like a clean strike, to be honest. There goes your score prediction. Don't worry, Kurt Alf. As long as you get, as long as you predict a three-point win, three points. That's what we need. Off oh, the post. Yorval are cowering, cowering. We look strong. Hosanna's taking a knock. He's going to have to come off, unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> what a strike again feel free to clip that that's a beauty look at this the minimal back lift just like very bird camp esque i think just pinging it into the uh into the just minimal back lift just up into the top done Stop the count. Stop the damn match. <laughs> yeah. Grimsby are 3-0 up. So we've got... So Grimsby are obviously fancy and uh, they reckon this is going to go to goal difference. So let's see where we're at. At the minute as well, our XG is only 1.16. <laughs> this is... So obviously we weren't meant to score that third goal. Second goal... First goal, of course, is a free kick set play. So who knows? The XG is probably off the, off the second goal. Where it's like he's literally in front of the goalkeeper. Well, he's in front of empty net. Tap it in. Um, that'll do. That'll do. Back to the keeper. Toza brings it forward. Like a warrior. Oh, what a ball that is. Oh. <laughs> That's a great goal. That's a great goal. <laughs> Yeah, but I've got my boys playing. What a ball that is from Hyde. How Mullins not finished that first off, I don't know, but he gets the rebound in. Beautiful. What a ball from Hyde, though. 4 0. 4 0. Absolutely dead fools. Brilliant through ball. Absolutely brilliant through ball. Um. We can start to look to rest a couple of players. Oh, it's five. It's five. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Yes. Deadfields has got his arms up as well. He knows what's happening.
awesome. Five nil up. And we're playing on cautious mentality as well. <laughs> Are we top of the league yet? Oh, can't believe we can see that. Sunny Everton, we've said we we're going to kick him. We said we we're going to kick him. We won six. We won six. Uh, we are top of the league in key, although that goal may have brought us back down and, and levelled our uh, our goal difference. Sadly, somehow Low Everton's got got away. I don't. I don't know how. Um. Ooh. Still, the goalkeeper's done. Yeah, he's not done brilliantly there. He needs to do better. But I think it's the, it's the midfielder's fault for letting him run off. To be honest, um, I, I I genuinely don't know what's happening here. Inky, to be honest, it's like it's almost like I've sort of gone in uh, into an, an alternate universe, you know. And um, and here we are, where where we're winning games. We want brackets. We want brackets. Yes, Todd Express. That's it. Five one, five one for an opening match performance. That'll absolutely do, won't it? Well, five one. That's not a bad start, is it? To be honest. So very happy with that. Very happy indeed. I'm sure the chairman are over the moon with us as well. Um, they're going to be keen to see 5-1. That's probably what they're expecting. We're going to be expecting that every single week going forward. So what we're going to do now, we're going to play some more stuff offline. Um, we might do a sort of mid-season update and then we'll definitely do an end-of-season update just to keep you in the loop with how this challenge goes. As I say, it's just for one season. Uh, we are going to keep doing these regularly throughout the season, so um, every single month we'll have a new challenge. Basically, the idea being it's a team you may not have managed before, a league you may not have managed before. If you're interested in this sort of thing, come and join the Discord. There is a link in the description below, as I say, uh, and do, of course, come and hang out over there and join that conversation. Follow all the social media as well. And, of course, there is links to my Twitch channel if you want to see some live Football Manager stream. But as I say, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. We will be back with either a mid-season or end-of-season update. Until then, take care. See you soon. And remember, it's usually raining in Wrexham.